Our brain works quite interestingly. It can mentally simulate the use of everything that we've encountered or were talked about. But why is that? Imagine an example. After 20 years of driving his old car, Pensini Bob Mac Exemplman was forced to buy a new car after the old one broke down. Hooray! To get to know his newest acquisition, Bob drives the car across the highway for multiple hours. Sadly, one of the bad habits of Bob is that he sometimes drives over the median strip in the middle of the road. But as he drives his new car, Bob notices small adjustments of the steering wheel when he gets close to the median strip. Apparently, the car corrects itself back to the lane. Bob is confused and asks himself what just happened. He remembers that after buying his new car, the salesman told him about the new technologies built in the car to improve driving safety. Bob suspects that the small adjustments he saw of the steering wheel were one of those new technologies. For further use of the car, Bob imagines how it corrects itself back on the lane while driving close to the white lines. He mentally simulates what will happen when he drives near the median strip on the highway. Mm. Oh, the steering wheel will keep me on track! So what is going on in Bob's brain? The answer is quite easy. He has a mental model of his car and its behavior. According to Christopher Wiggins, a mental model is a mental structure that reflects the user's understanding of a system and therefore is a source of expectancies about how a system will respond. Thanks Wiggins, we'll take it from here. One way to see a mental model could be as a mind map. It consists of root nodes, sub nodes and interactions with reactions of the system. A few examples are the radio, gas or brakes and the steering wheel. Let's take the steering wheel as an example. We know that the car turns left or right when we turn the steering wheel in the same direction. Good, let's go back to Bob. Bob didn't know that his car would react when he came close to the median strip. That means that Bob's mental model did not cover a reaction of the car for this situation. As a result, Bob's mental model was updated. With his updated mental model, Bob could simulate his driving behavior, taking into account that the car would correct itself as he gets near to the median strip. You could say that Bob got more experienced in his way of using his car. So thank you Bob and drive safely.